Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is going to be a specific focus on Fantastical 2 for Mac. Uh, this is something that I've been using for a few weeks now and I've been very impressed by. Um, I actually joined probably in early October, actually maybe more than that, late September I'd say. Um, and I've been really enjoying the experience so far. I've obviously only had a Mac for a couple of months, but this is one of the best Mac apps out there. So let's get started on what this feature offers. As you can see, let's dive straight into the view options because this is something that I think that is, needs to be stressed a little more inside of calendar apps. Fantastic Out 2 does have some really amazing uh, view options. As you can see, the day view works really well. It's really intuitive and very smart. And the week view is something that I use across my week, although it can get a little messy, especially with that red line going across there but nothing that the left-hand sidebar won't help with. As you can see, it gives you a stream of all of your tasks as you go, or all of your activities as you go across, and it dulls out the ones that have already been completed. So it's sort of nice, uh, nice way to see it as you go. Now, there is a month view, which I really don't recommend using. Uh, a lot of people use this for shift and working out holistically what they have for the next month, how busy it is, but it really is a messy view. I mean... Uh, Please do let me know in the comments whether you use this view because I'd really love to know how this actually benefits because I just see it as a big mess. But anyway, it's got that view. So if you guys are looking for that, um, then that's there. But the cool thing is you can see detailed view on the sidebar. So year view is another one that is pretty handy. Uh, what you can do is when you're using it, uh, just go back or go uh, scroll forward to see all of the dates and red and orange dates basically highlight some of the busy days. You can go back and actually see what was happening that day. Uh, it looks like I was testing the um, the Google Calendar goals here because I had a lot of tasks, uh, events in. So as you can see, it's pretty messy. But anyway, it gives you a good idea to see how busy your year was or how busy your month is, even giving that. So that's a really cool feature that I think uh, if you're into that sort of year view, then you can have that. Now, the next thing on the right-hand side is you can search for anything, really. Um, I use this offline, and it works pretty well. Uh, it caches all the data pretty uh, effectively, and as you can see, I can sort of search back for stuff that's interesting. Um, I actually try and do this with haircuts. Um, so what I do is I search for haircuts and see when my last haircut is, but I really am not good at storing when they are. Uh, so... I always run over my overdue haircuts. <laughs> uh, but if you click in, you can see the information from each of the uh, activities. And it might be handy in case, you know, you're looking to find the next meeting or you're just generally trying to keep in track of what's coming up in the future. Now, the nice thing here is you can click today anytime. It'll bring you straight back to where you were. And I really do like that left-hand side, left uh, sidebar. It really does look fantastic. Uh, you can actually add all of your calendar sets here, uh, and I'll explain how you set that up in the settings. So the one thing that is impressive is when you're adding events, it's not just a simple way of adding events. There is some complexity to it from their end. Basically, it, it uses the same sort of intelligent input as Todoist um, and all of the other Wunderlist apps. And all you do is type in the date or time you want it, and it will capture it. And then you type in the event name, location, and any other contact points that you want. So if it want to be all day or the specific times. And actually changing it to your calendar, which is pretty handy. You can set the default calendar too. I accidentally set it as personal brand, but actually want to set it as my email. You can hook up reminders too. And there's a context section that's a bit bigger down here where you can add invitees. So you're not just limited to uh, not inviting people and going over to Google Calendar to do this. And then any URLs and notes. So once you hook that in, it does look great. Um, you, it's a full rich bleed, so it gives you a calendar uh, event information, but also um, the location information too using uh, Apple Maps uh, or Google Google Maps, which is great. It, I find the adding events is pretty smooth. Uh, it looks great and works really well offline. It also has some extra context points, so the event input also does uh, understand that every Wednesday sort of thing. Um, so it's pretty handy. Uh, it will give you a repeat task and a repeat end as well. Uh, but these are all really minor things, um, but actually do build up to a really nice calendar experience as you go. Now, one of the things that 
I think you guys should be concerned, not concerned, at, but aware of when you're using uh, Fantastica 2 is the enrich amount of um, settings they have. Because I was only discovered this, I only discovered this maybe a few months ago, and it does have a large amount of context points that make your experience a bit more smart. Um, so you've got general. General basically helps you organize all of your main uh, bulky tasks. You've got appearance, so this is actually you know, how you use your calendar. There's actually a light theme in there which looks great, and you can use um, and attach some of the uh, things that don't actually appear in the default version. So you can show reminders or show decline events or even numbers when you're in the uh, view. So it, it, there is a lot of customization here, um, which is pretty good. You can also add event uh, accounts as well. So you've got uh, how often it refreshes or any local accounts that you want to add. Uh, you can even uh, check out the actual delegates uh, of each of the ones. And you can add any iCloud, Exchange, Office 365, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, and Franks, and, and even a Cow and DAV account, which is pretty good. So there is a lot of uh, benefit to using this, obviously, uh, and pretty handy. The next thing you can do is obviously uh, look at the calendars that you do have installed, and you can automatically activate them at location, which is great. You can also create a new calendar set. So if you wanted one for work and one for uh, leisure, then that's absolutely fine. You've also got alerts as well. So, you know, alerts on Mac, handy feature to have, and an advanced tab uh, in case you want to change the, the location of the maps or the time settings, really. Uh, and then, you know, one thing I've noticed is Fantastic 2 does update about every, maybe every week or two. I'd say, because uh, they change the bugs or they tweak stuff, which is pretty handy. Uh, and the team seem pretty responsive, so you guys can drop them a message. Now, the next thing is the mini window widget, which I thought was pretty handy. Um, basically, this appears at the top of your page. You can hit, hook it up on Mac. You can make that icon color. It just appears in your top bar. But basically, from here, you can actually uh, add tasks, uh, reminders that are really cool. Or you can add um, events, which is pretty handy. And you can even search from all from that little window bar. So if you're not looking to go straight into Fantastic Hub 2 to organize an event, an event, you can just use that mini window bar and it will organize everything for you. Well, you have to organize it, but it does save you a lot of time instead of having to go into the native app. The other thing there is, is reminders. Just going into more detail, you can add tasks into here. I wasn't able to for some reason, um, but I, I have been able to in the past. Um, so you can actually add tasks that feed into your uh, calendar experience, very similar to what any do have just started doing and several other applications. So that's something that you can add, uh, definitely. So uh, there's lots of function inside of this app and lots of interesting features. One of the other things is that you can organize a shortcut to your uh, mini window. But apart from that, Fantastic 2 is one of the leading applications on Map, Mac. And I think that it definitely deserves your attention. Now, the pricing is a little high. It's at something like $29.99. Oh, no, $39 UK, that's about $29.99. I think they're running a 20% limited time only. I'll let you know that information in the description below. But I do think it's one of the best calendar applications for Mac out there. I'm not too sure about the iPhone app, but that's just me. Um, but I'll let you know in the description about both of those, how to download the Mac and the iPhone uh, and, and to get you started. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm looking forward to some of your opinions on Fantastic L2. I know a lot of you guys use it and I want to see your thoughts and opinions. So drop them in the comments. Email me if you've got any specific questions to the usage of how uh, like if you just want to drop me a line and see what my experiences are, um, any specific experience that is, then just let me know. Uh, my email's in the description. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to sharing more with you. And please do subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.